Keeping up with today's fast-paced world can be difficult. Accelerate your life with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Surf, stream, and game like never before. Give us a call at 509-754-2600 and find out more at iFiber.tv. T6. Mason County Sheriff's deputies were on the scene of a fatal crash Tuesday, using technology to reconstruct it. Keith Lindsay of Allen died in the crash on Sunday that also seriously injured his wife, Danielle. Both were not wearing seat belts at the time of the crash on Pickering and Strong Roads northeast of Shelton. One or both were thrown from the vehicle. Corporal Michael Sargent in the Mason County Sheriff's Office Detective Unit is also a collision reconstructionist for the sheriff. He talks about the equipment used in reconstructing the crash scene. So we're using what's commonly referred to for law enforcement as a total station. Um, it's the same survey equipment that surveyors use. Uh, we just use different software for the data collection out of it. Um, it's basically doing triangulation, little two tape measures laying on the ground type work. This is doing it in the computer format. Sergeant explains when a reconstruction is normally conducted. A tech or recon workup is done in all um, serious injury that lead to criminal charges. So if it's a vehicular assault or a vehicular homicide or has a county liability or a county vehicle is involved, we'll do a tech or, or reconstruction. He elaborated on the survey equipment's capabilities. So basically what this is doing is just instead of me laying measuring tapes down and taking three to four hours of measuring tapes. This is gonna do it in about two hours and get all those measurements in so that I can go back and sit at the desk and um, show the roadway widths, the tire marks, and actually take the measurements there and put them into math formulas. Um, there's some areas here that have basic skid marks and I can do math formulas to get minimum speeds. There's curved marks on the road that are called yaw marks or critical speed scuffs. Both of those can provide some speed details. Um, as well as just being able to model how the collision happened, just like you see on CSI, you can take and do the 3D modeling that lines up with the tire marks. When I started, we were doing tape measures, and we're out here for four hours and can shut roads completely down. This allows us to let still traffic come through. The newer scanners let us have even more traffic through and don't put the officer in danger by what you've seen out in the middle of the road. Sergeant talks about what he found so far in the investigation using the technology. At least one vehicle was off of the pavement and outside the roadway, or the typical lane of travel. One was off prior to the collision. Um, there's tire marks indicating that it came back on the roadway. I don't know if the two vehicles hit yet or they just came very close. Um, and then ultimately, uh, we did have them both go to somewhat airborne as they hit the embankment down here. Um, the first one, kind of looks like, and looking at the truck when I was here Saturday night, it kind of tipped up on its side and then fell back down to its wheels. And the other one, all, the second vehicle, ultimately became airborne and then rolled, um, coming to rest on its wheels further down the road. The sheriff's office is looking into purchasing a more advanced Faro laser scanner or drone technology to reconstruct crash scenes. Sergeant says the Faro scanner would cost the county $68,000 if approved. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.